Hi guys, my name is Rin and welcome back to another art video. So, last week I did the Crayola crayon, um, I guess Crayola challenge with them and I drew a chibi of Jonghan in that video. So this week I thought that I will be revisiting this Crayola challenge but with the Crayola super tips. Um, so this is the 100 pack and I got it off of Amazon for about $11 I think, $11 Canadian. So they're fairly cheap and because there's a hundred colors and they're also water-based markers, I thought it'd be interesting for me to try to make an illustration um, using these water-based markers. And I'm just using basic materials hopefully for this video. I know some people do use um, oops, use water brushes or like use these similar to watercolors for illustrations but i'll revisit that in another video probably for now we're just going to use the markers um maybe cardstock or mixed media paper along with ballpoint pens i like using the pentel rsvp um i find that they give very sharp lines very fluid lines and I like to use these a lot for like doodling and stuff, so we'll use these instead of like pigment liners for doing the line art. Uh, for these markers, I actually have used them. You can see that even in this box, I have a few that are marked with washi tape. So I've used these markers in my sketchbook like recently. I'll show you guys. Um, here, so I drew my OC Masaki. And I did like a little Q&A with him on my Instagram so people could send questions. Um, I found it was quite fun just to use and test out the colors in a, like just in a rough way with the sketchbook. So that's what I did. Ballpoint pen, a light sketch underneath before I did the line art along with the water-based markers. And I feel like it's very fun to use these markers so hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Okay, so something that I'm going to do a little bit differently for this video is that I actually have my iPod here and I have it on my 17 playlist so I have all the albums and a few covers and any kind of like um, OSTs and stuff from 17 and I'm going to put this on shuffle and whatever song that we get from me shuffling this playlist, I'll do an illustration based on that song. So the only songs that I'm going to exclude from this list is actually the covers or the mixtape songs. Or not like all the mixtapes, just like pre-debut I won't count. Um, any acoustic versions or... Like maybe I'll include acoustic versions. There's some songs I won't count on here. I'm going to be focusing mostly on songs from their albums or like songs that have been released officially, like studio albums and like singles or any projects so let's hope my camera is focusing on this I'm just gonna hit shuffle and see what song we're gonna get okay so I have the song say yes and that's Sungwan and Dogyam's duet so we're gonna make an illustration of this so first of all I'm probably gonna sketch and do maybe the line art off screen so I'll come back when I have have a finished kind of illustration ready for coloring. So I'll see you guys for the coloring portion. So see you then. Okay, so I'm back and I do have the thumbnail right here. So originally I was going to have them sitting. So Sungwan and Dogyam. Then I thought it'd be cute to do basing it off like love letter in general. And having Polaroids that say say yes on them. And I actually changed it again and I went to this idea where I have an open envelope, two Polaroids, so one of Sungwan and one of Dogyam with a necklace. So <clears throat> what kind of prompted this was basically the album, the album itself, Love Letter. And then I actually have the 17 necklace. So I thought it'd be cute to include this in the illustration. Hopefully you guys can see this. So Here's the illustration. It's really simple, but I thought it'd be 
cuter to do like a full illustration instead of like a little doodle. So I did do this in ballpoint pen. So I'll zoom in in, in a few seconds, but yeah, I sketched with my palette color Eno in the color red as usual, erasing with a kneaded eraser and then yeah, ballpoint pen for the line art. So I'll just zoom in really quick. Hopefully you can tell that it's done with ballpoint pen. I kind of like it using like ballpoint pen because it comes out a bit softer than using like a pigment liner. And then I'm going to quickly show you the swatches. So I was on the back. So the thing about water-based marker is obviously it's going to streak a lot because like overlapping and it won't blend nicely. So that's going to be something I'm probably going to have issues with and as well as finding a skin tone. I'm, I'm probably not going to color in their skin like entirely. I might do it the same way I did Masaki's skin color. Um, which is like this. So doing kind of like um, short strokes, kind of like hatching to do cheeks and stuff and just basic shading. Probably leaving the skin pretty pale and white. So. I'm going to start coloring and probably just do that on time lapse. So see you guys at the end for the final results.
Okay, so here are the final results of just using the Crayola Super Tips for coloring. And I think it turned out pretty cute, but I'm not too happy about how I layered all the colors. It's definitely very streaky. I could have um, taken more time and did it closer to this, so making it less streaky and kind of just randomly um, quickly filling it in. I think would have had like had better results because it's very patchy in some areas and I should have color swatched things first because I thought this was actually more of a pinky orange rather than a reddish orange. So um, yeah, other than that, I think it turned out pretty cute. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching this video. So um, join me next week when I try out the random assortment of pencil crayons that I have from Crayola. And these are literally from like probably 10 years ago, so I'm not sure what colors exactly that I have. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week and thank you for watching. Bye!